Bugs Art Camp. I'm Mrs. Eichhorst and I have another crazy craft for you today. This one is um, going to be this beautiful little dragonfly. Can you see him? I found a stick in my yard and I glued him on and he's super cute, isn't he? And I made him from a milk jug. Now I found this um, project on kidscraftroom.com and it's um, a really nice website with great ideas and I kind of uh, had to do a little trial and error. There wasn't a video for this, just some instructions. But I've done this before, um, Sharpies and rubbing alcohol. I've used um, little bathroom tiles and with my own kids, we decorated them and then we spritzed them with um, rubbing alcohol and they turned out so cool. So that's another thing you can do, but this is, I'm gonna tell you up front, this is a challenging project. So parents of little ones, you might rather cut out some nice big pieces out of your milk jug. You can see I used mine already. We're gonna make um, the dragonfly, I already made one. I'm gonna make another one with you. Um, you can use a nice clean milk jug, wash it out with soap and water, and then maybe um, cut out some big pieces for them. And then you can easily draw a dragonfly. Their wings are kind of like a skinny long number eight, right? They're skinny in the middle and then come back out. Um, and the body is just a bit long too, really. So you could do something like this that would be much simpler, but if you're ready for the challenge, I am too. So let's get started. All right, so supplies. Like I said, you're gonna need a nice clean and dry milk jug. You're gonna need scissors, and I put on my list and a parent because cutting up a milk jug is a little tricky. So you might need your parent if you're younger or um, older sibling. So scissors would be great. You definitely need those. You're also gonna need um, my favorite marker really in the world um, is the Sharpie. So you're gonna need a few colors. I recommend it maybe three. Three is the magic number. Schoolhouse Rock tells you that, right? So pick a couple of your favorite colors, but um, I recommend that they are close to each other on the color wheel. So when I'm thinking about the color wheel for my first one, I picked the greens and blues. I stayed in this little section right here, all right? Um, this time though, I'm picking the pinks and purples in this little section. You can do whatever you want. It's just when they start to mix, they look muddy if you pick complementary colors. That means they're opposite each other in the color wheel. So I, um, and they will mix because of the alcohol, rubbing alcohol. That's the next thing you need for this project. You need rubbing alcohol. Um, we're gonna drip it onto our Sharpie and it's gonna just mix and mingle like watercolors. It's so beautiful. And then it dries permanent so you don't have to worry about it washing off. And then also with a parent, you're gonna need a hot glue gun to um, just um, finish it off. So I recommend this project for older students, art students, and parents who are just ready for the challenge, all right? So let's get started. You need um, three main cutouts from your milk jug. My first um, one I cut out and I was disappointed that it was so short. I kind of wish his tail was longer and I could correct that by cutting out another piece. I still might and roll it up and put it in for his tail. So it's a little longer, but it's cute anyway, right? So I recommend a little bit longer rectangle and um, so that's the first one. And it could be wider than this. This was just a scrap that I had. All right, so a rectangle. And then you need two of those figure eights. And let me see if I can find a way for you to see it better on my um, camera. So these figure eights are long, peanut-shaped wings, all right? And I don't have a pattern. You don't really need a pattern. I want you just to kind of draw it freehand. 
because um, these are just organic shapes. Even my rectangle is not a perfect um, rectangle either, is it? Nope. And if we don't like it, we can trim it. So don't worry about that. So you need one big figure eight, that's this one. And you need one smaller figure eight, that's this one, so that when they're on top of each other, they're not the same size. You can bend them up a little bit if you want to, even before we glue them. But you want them to kind of look like this, right? Because they have those two sets of wings that are so beautiful, and that's what we're gonna work on. The other thing you're gonna need is a smaller rectangle that you just sharpie black or super dark. I use that for the um, legs and I'll show you how to cut those out. And that's actually very simple. So those are your four pieces you need to cut out of the plastic jug. And like I said, they don't need to be perfect. I drew mine on with a Sharpie first and then I just chopped them right out of the milk jug. So you need to probably do that and um, grab your supplies. So I'm gonna put up my little pause sign. You can pause and cut out your four shapes, two wings, one body rectangle, and one small leg rectangle. And then come on back and um, we'll talk about how we color them and how we get them all crazy the rubbing them out, okay? So press pause and then come on back. All right, welcome back. So I didn't wanna sit here so that you could watch me color, but um, I do wanna show you the process. So I picked my colors and like I said, I picked colors next to each other on the color wheel. And this one is gonna be my pink and purple one. So I used all pinks and purples and I started coloring and you can tell kind of the difference between this one and this one, can't you? So this one I added the rubbing alcohol, this one I did not yet, and I'll show you how that goes. All right. So step one, we cut everything out. Step two, we're gonna color everything. And one thing I did um, after I colored it and um, used the rubbing alcohol, I put on those little lines for the wings because if you've ever looked at a dragonfly, they have these super cool, thin, kind of lines so I did that and I didn't make them you know perfectly straight I made them just kind of again organic remember organic lines and shapes are just they're found in nature they're not a perfect computerized circle so that's what you really want to achieve when you're doing things like bugs and grass and trees and nature. You don't want to worry about using a ruler or a stencil to get a perfect shape. You just kind of want it to be whatever your hand um, does. Trust yourself, trust your mind, your imagination. All right, so I put on my little lines. And now I'm gonna um, I'm gonna put the rubbing alcohol in this one. I'm gonna show you how I did it. So I colored this pink and purple, and then what I did is I put my rubbing alcohol in a little tiny um, Jello cup. My aunt Ruth saves all these for me, and I use them all the time. So thanks, Aunt Ruth. Um, this one I just dip it in um, the rubbing alcohol and drop little drops on my wing, all right? And then they're gonna start getting drippy and if you can, if you look up close, you can see that I got it all over my fingers. It is permanent, so I'll be looking a little silly for a while. So I dabbed it with the rubbing alcohol, but I didn't wanna leave it like that, which would be fine. You could just blow on it, but I kinda like to tip it and let it drip all around. And somehow it stays mostly on your plastic. And I'm just gonna let it drip all around. 
and then it's going to need to dry before we put the little lines on. So that's how I get that really fun color mixing. You see it, it happening? And you can put as much or as little as you want. Um, but it's kind of fun to see what it does to the Sharpie. I really love that. So I'm gonna let this dry for a minute. And while that's drying, I'm gonna roll the body. Now I found that a bigger piece, my last one was pretty big, I wish um, I would have known. It doesn't really need to be a big rectangle. All right, and it's gonna take a little bit of um, manipulating with your hands to kind of get it to curve how you want it. So this one I determined I wanted long, so I made my rectangle a little bit long and a little bit narrow. This is probably too narrow, like I said, because I had only a little bit left. So I'm just gonna kind of curl it down, and it's okay when you're rolling it if it goes a little diagonal. The good thing about that, and I'm gonna put a little dab of glue before I even finish, just so the middle of it is already kind of learning to stay curled. The good thing about going diagonal is your dragonfly will be a little bit bigger on one end and a little bit narrower on the other, and I think that will look really cool so that the head can be, because it is a little bit bigger than the tail. All right, so it's okay if it goes a little diagonal, um, but like I said, parents, be careful. I'm doing this on the table with my hot glue gun, and I wish I could zoom in. I don't have fancy equipment like that, um, and I'm just rolling it, a little bit of glue, holding it, all right, holding the top of it so I'm not burning my fingers against the newspaper or my table here, and that is, um, giving the glue time to dry, all right? The cool thing about hot glue though, honestly, is once it does dry, if you don't like something, you almost always can just pick it off, right? Or put it in the freezer for a minute and it'll get hard and then it's real easy to pick off. So if you make a mistake, no big deal. We'll just, we'll just fix it, right? Like I said, my first one, it didn't turn out quite the shape I wanted, I might even unglue it and re-roll his body so it's longer and skinnier. Because I think this one's going to look really cool. Alright, so, I did that. Can you see? And I'm still holding it because I want that glue to dry all the way. But do you see I have a little piece here I'm going to need to glue down. Alright, and parents, really the hot glue has to be you and good luck. Because sometimes... You get a little bit on your finger and it stinks, right? But, no pain, no gain, they say. Hopefully you can gain without it this time. All right, so my body is just about ready. And don't worry if it sticks to your newspaper because, like I said, it'll peel off no problem. All right, so next, I want to show you, um, this one's just about dry, and if it's not, um, rubbing alcohol does dry pretty quickly. So, um, we can just pull on it, or sing a song, or wave it in the air, all right? I can't wait to see what beautiful dragonflies you guys come up with. What colors did you pick? Did you pick warm colors? What would those be? Right, red, orange, yellow, good. Or did you pick cool colors like me? No. All right, so there is my dragonfly body. The tail is gonna be skinnier and the head is gonna be a little bit thicker. And I'm gonna let this dry another little minute. Now, one thing I did not put on the supply list, um, but I think would really make it look great Maybe this picky put these in the kids. Um, googly eyes to have some little face on yours. So mine, I use just beads. So if you have beads, that would work great. Buttons would be great. I only had those two black beads, but 
these are little gems. I don't know if I'm scrapbooking or something. Can you see it? So I thought, hey, those would be kind of cool. And it's okay if the eyes are big because they actually real dry dragonflies. You can see their eyes. They're really, they kind of are noticeable. So I'm gonna, again, very carefully, and I'm gonna use the wider end to put my eyes on. Not the narrow, I want that to be my tail. So I'm just putting two little dabs here, very, very carefully. And these I want to stick out, so I'm gonna actually stick them in the glue and hope for the best. We'll see. I might not be as successful as my beads because they don't have as big of a base. What do you think? Good so far. All right, now the other. Hopefully. All right, so beads or some little um, goofy eyes would be really fun. Dripping a little bit of hers, but it's okay. There we go. Okay. And let's move on. To the wings. All right, so like I said, you're going to use your black Sharpie. After you use your rubbing alcohol and it's all dry, you can use your black Sharpie to add the little lines, the little veins in your wings. And I think that is a really nice touch. Now, this one, I actually added the rubbing alcohol after and it was fine. I don't know why it didn't mess up the, but I don't recommend that because I wouldn't want it to mess up. So I'm gonna do that now with my bottom wing. And I'm just very lightly going over. I'm not pushing down hard. Can you see? So I'm just with the tip, just kind of making this so I don't even know how this needs to look. Right? Just this little tiny things on his wing. And they're organic lines. Can you see that pretty well? All right. Those are done too. Now, while those are just finishing up a little drying, our little black rectangle. And anytime you need to, just press pause, color it black if you didn't yet, and then come on back. Let it dry, and it's okay. Your fingers might look like mine. It's all right. Um, a little nail polish remover might take that off too. I don't know. So you can try. So what I'm gonna do with this though is I'm gonna cut. It to look like a letter E on both sides, both of these ends, not the middle, but the ends, the top and the bottom. So I'm gonna take my scissors and I'm just gonna snip out this kind of a skinny little rectangle. All right, so I made two snips that look like this, and I'm gonna snip that off. I don't need it. Because what I want are how many legs for an insect? Six. All right, so now I have that one. I'm gonna cut another little rectangle here. I like to bend it up and then snip it. It just somehow a little bit easier to get the whole up. All right, so see, it kind of looks like a letter E. Right? All right, so I'm gonna do that to the other side now too. And once you do that, then you can even trim them to make them a little skinnier if you want to. I didn't worry about that because I really wanted the hot glue to, to fit and to stick onto something and the smaller they are, the harder that is. But you can decide. You're the artist, right? So again, I'm gonna cut two little notches out, two snips next to each other. And now one more. And they don't have to be all exactly the same size or any of that. Honestly, you just don't need to worry about anything. So now I have this like double E looking thing. Okay. And 
then you're gonna bend it. And I'm also gonna play around with the legs a little bit. You know, bug legs kind of grab. So I'm not gonna leave them straight like this. I'm gonna bend them down. Right, you can play with those and you can how you want them. It's a lot easier if you get a stick from the yard to put on. Put your little guy on. All right, so now I have his legs, right? And I'll worry about those in a little bit. His eyes are good, they're dry. So I'm gonna take my bottom wing and his wings are kind of up close to his head. You know, the back of the body sticks out. So I'm gonna give it a little bend, not hard, just a little one. And I'm gonna put a little dab and this is actually now we're on the easy part. A little dab on his back, up by his head. And you can decide where. You can even do a little study of dragon cars before you begin. So there's my first one. Nice and easy. This part is the easiest, like I said. And one more dab, just a dab, just to keep them on. Right on top, and it is super hot when you um, push down on your plastic. So just be careful, parents. All right, so here we go. It's already looking awesome. And the last step then is to put on the legs. Again, just flip it over now. A little dab. And you're gonna attach the legs so that they bend downward. Okay. I put mine under the wings. It seems like where they go. Wow, I'm not really a dragonfly expert. Oh my goodness, though. So I've seen so many beautiful ones in my yard, and um, I haven't honestly seen a pink and purple one, but I have seen them this color. It's amazing. And actually, the wings um, are not colorful, I don't think. They're usually kind of see-through, and you could do it realistically if you want to. Um, but, oh my goodness, the body. Some of them are as bright blue as the wings on my dragonfly here. I'm not kidding. I'm amazed. I have a couple of pictures. I'll send them um, to put it with the post so you can kind of get a good look at the bright colors they have. And even after it's finished, you could take your Sharpie and add stripes. I've seen lots of them with stripes. They have a lot of black on their bodies. That would be beautiful to add because you know the black adds contrast, right? So give this project a try. It's super cool. And if you're like, oh, that hot glue stuff is just not for me, then experiment with a piece of the plastic. There's so much on that milk jug you could use. Experiment with that, color it, drop little drops of rubbing alcohol on it, and let it kind of twirl around. It wouldn't even have to be a dragonfly. You could make another bug, or you could just make a beautiful picture. But Sharpies and rubbing alcohol, super fun. Give it a try. I hope you enjoyed this, and I hope to see you soon. Take care and have a happy day.